It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Looks like it's nice and bright and sunny. No, it's a lie. It's actually freezing cold outside. I have no desire to go out there whatsoever. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday. Big news today. Well, big news yesterday. I never talked about it. I should have, but I kind of got carried away talking about some other stuff. PAX tickets went on sale yesterday, and we knew about it the day before, um, which might seem like, you know, very little notice. It's actually the most notice they've ever given us. Um, for those unaware, normally how they sell PAX tickets is randomly, one day, you'll be browsing Twitter, and then you'll see a tweet from the official PAX account that says, hey, tickets are on sale. And you're like, oh God, because if you aren't there right at the beginning, you miss out on so much. PAX tickets completely sell out within like two days. The multi-day passes sell out in like no time. I mean, no time. It, it's amazing how fast they go. Anyway, um, I slept in today and uh, I woke up strictly to get uh, the passes uh, yesterday. Sorry, I meant I slept in yesterday because I'm talking about yesterday. All this stuff happened yesterday. Um, but I slept in, I knew that they were going to come out sometime after noon Eastern, so I woke up at like 11.50, got on the computer and just, and, and sat and waited. Talked to Alex because he was going to be waiting to buy tickets as well. Last time they allowed us to buy a maximum of four tickets, so we were planning on each buying four tickets and then we would have eight. Um, but whenever it finally went up, they allowed you to buy five. Turns out we got there pretty early within seconds of the uh, of the site being up so you could actually buy the tickets. So we managed to get 10 three-day passes. And it was a really good deal because um, every individual day was 40 bucks. So if you bought three one-day passes, it'd be 120 bucks. But if you got a three-day pass, it was 75 bucks. So it was remarkably cheaper to just do that unless you just wanted to go one day. So we got 10 three-day passes for us and our friends. Um, so I guess this is just kind of my official announcement of we'll see you in Boston. Because we're going to PAX East 2014. Um, as for the roster of who is going to be there, um, the Steven crew, as I like to call it. I don't actually call it that. Um, it's, it's definitely going to be uh, Mal and I. Um, Dan is definitely going to be there. Um, Alex and Haley are definitely going to be there. Um, I'm pretty sure Taylor's definitely going to be there. And then, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure about others. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, Thomas won't be there or, um, you know, Chaz or Jeff won't be there. I just, but at this point I don't know and they don't know. Um, we're also in the process of maybe, uh, of talking to Nick. Uh, Nick has expressed extreme interest in going to PAX. Um, and uh, also we managed to snag a hotel uh, last night. And um, it went well, <laughs> as far as getting like a good price and everything. So, um, the, the price point is good for everybody. I think, um, I think there's a good chance Nick will be joining us. Uh, but I don't know about some people. I don't know about Thomas and, and Chaz and Jeff. Um, Lindsay may be back. I don't know. Um, it just, it's going to depend on a lot of factors like, you know, their work schedules and things like that. So, um, we are going to PAX East 2014, which is exciting. For those not aware, um, that is in Boston. And that is from April 11th to 13th. And, um... It's, it's going to be a fun time. We will have another uh, vlog meetup. I'm not sure where. Um, last year we had it outside, which was a mistake. Um, having it outside was a mistake because it was already like freezing cold and when it had been snowing that weekend. Um, but also we had it on the... I don't, I don't know what you call that. We had it touching the water. Like, we could get the, the drafts... Um, you know, the, the cold air was blowing off of the water onto us and it was like chilling us to the bone. Um, so we're not going to do that again. We would definitely pick a different spot. The place that we do in Prime, um, I forget the name of, of the spot we, we used to meet up there, 
But the place at Prime is great um, in Seattle, but the place in Boston will have to uh, will have to move. This will be our fourth PAX event, our second PAX East, and uh, we are very excited about it. Um, I'm not actually sure. We have some stuff to work out with Mal's work, um, to be honest. We may get there a day later. We would still be there for all the days of PAX, but normally we get in Thursday, and we may be getting in um, really late Thursday or Friday. Um, but it shouldn't affect you guys. It would just affect you know, us vlogging things because we may not be there on Thursday. Anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you about. Um, we are going to PAX, uh, and we are pretty excited. And um, as one final thing, um, because that w that all technically happened yesterday, I wanted to bring you something that happened today. I wanted to bring you something that happened when I woke up. It's um, a dream. <laughs> it was a weird dream, and I want to share it because it was so weird. There's been times I've shared strange dreams on the vlog before, so take it or leave it. Um, you can share crazy dreams of your own if you want to or talk about packs. So in this dream, Mal and I went to visit Thomas. Um, and for whatever reason, Thomas lived in Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. It's about two, two and a half hours south from here. Um, uh, he used to live in Columbia, so it I guess it's kind of likely he'd live in Charleston, but not really. Right now he lives in Florida. Um, so we were visiting him there, and in the dream, Thomas lived across the street from a flea market, which I guess is of interest and was in the dream because we like flea markets. We like to go to flea markets to find video game deals. So um, this flea market was somehow attached to a haunted house. And I guess since it was October, the three of us decided, yeah, we'll go to the haunted house. Now, I don't ever actually remember going into the haunted house. In fact, I'm pretty sure we never did. But for whatever reason, you went into the haunted house and then it let you out into the flea market. So I guess we went to the haunted house. I don't know. But the three of us were in the flea market walking around talking about the haunted house, even though I'm pretty sure we never actually went. And um, the interesting, interesting thing about this flea market, it was outside, um, but the floors were glass and there was a small crawl space that was illuminated that was just big enough for a cat to crawl through. It was almost like looking at a hamster, you know those hamster cages that have the pipes where the, the hamsters crawl around? It was like that but it was in the floor and it was for cats. And it literally was for cats because people had come and put their cats in it. So as you're walking around this flea market you look down and the floor is glass and there's cats running around playing with each other and stuff. And um, we had put Sagan and Kepler in there. So we had walked around the flea market, and while we were shopping, we were trying to find Sagan and Kepler to see, you know, where they had, you know, went to, but we couldn't find them. And um, eventually we said, okay, well, let's head back to, uh, to Thomas's house to get some food or something. So it was across the street, so we walked across the street, went back to Thomas's house, and uh, we had only been there for just a few minutes before I started freaking out. And I was like, guys, I just realized that, you know, there wasn't, like, a checkout booth or anything for these cats. It was just, you know, put your cats in the maze and, you know, get your cats out whenever you're done. And I was like, someone could take our cats, you know, someone could take Sagan and Kepler. This is like a big, big deal. I need to fix this. And Thomas was like, they'll be fine. You shouldn't worry. But Mal was, Mal was concerned. Mal was like, oh, you're right. Well, why don't you go get the cats? And I'm like, okay. So, um, so Mal and I go and we walk across the street to, to get to the flea market. And then we're walking around the flea market um, trying to find Sagan and Kepler in the floor. And then I wake up. And that was my dream. It was weird. It was really weird. Um, it, it just took a bunch of elements that were, you know, in my head, which is what happens with dreams. Um, things that may be on your mind and puts them into a dream. Um, so I don't know why Thomas lived in South Carolina. Again... Um, but I guess maybe I, it's probably because I associate a, the really, really big flea market with South, with Charleston, because there's a really big one in Charleston. And I'm guessing that that's why. So I was thinking of like, you know, that Charleston flea market. Then I was thinking of, you know, Thomas, cause I just love Thomas. Um, and then I was thinking of cats cause I love Sagan and Kepler. It was just a really weird dream. So I thought I'd share. Anyway, like I said before, um, talk about anything today. Talk about um, PAX East if you're going. Um, if you are going, please let me know because I would, uh, I would, I'd, I'd like to know ahead of time and try to keep a vague idea of who's attending in the back of my head. Um, and I, I hope to see you there. We're also hoping to maybe do a meetup inside of PAX. 
I don't know if that's going to work yet, um, but we'll see about what we can do. Just because last year, um, following the Runaway Guys panel, we had the perfect place for a meetup. We actually had a room for that. And uh, I think I'm going to talk to Emil to see about what our possibilities are and see if we can do something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll try and figure it out. Um, also, you can, uh, of course, talk about, um, you know, crazy dreams. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tomorrow is Friday, and tomorrow uh, Mark and Rhonda get here, Mal's dad and stepmom. So watch tomorrow because we're going to do all sorts of fun stuff. I don't know what we're doing, <laughs> but they'll be here. I got salami on my pizza. You're weird. Wait a minute. This isn't this isn't our pizza. This is not our pizza. Fantastic! Mal's got two. The round is half over, and I'm still rocking zero. Yeah! Mal's got three. This is not a good start.